Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's Pete's back here again with a Wayfinder 2023 Fireside Chat. All the information about Wayfinder, one of my favorite MMOs, RPGs of 2023, even though it had a disastrous launch. I mean, really bad servers were not working. And then they lost their publisher, but they're self-publishing. They want to continue to develop the game. And boy, have they put a lot of updates just in the last couple of months into the game. The new V.2 update is out, Eventide. And it's amazing to fix so many of the bugs in the game. It is a really fun experience right now. So I want to welcome everybody uh, to this video, to the channel. If you're brand new, please, please consider subscribing, smashing that like button. I also really want to thank all of my channel members. Thank you so much for being channel members. So we're going to get into this. Like I said, they've had a pretty, pretty, really tough um, last little while as a company, but you know what? They did this fireside chat, and we're going to get into it because they announced a boat load of information. And I got to tell you, man, they've just, they opened up cupboards and they said, look, this is what's coming to the game. So we're going to jump into that right now. All right. The first thing we're going to talk about is when they had, uh, I think, I guess probably Steve Swivel, dude, the maybe the lead designer on the game in. He really talked about the two biggest areas uh, that the game was missing when it came to the player population right now, and it's end game. There's really nothing to do once you hit rank at level 30 on your characters, and so they're going to actually solve that that by adding two major kind of common features in the MMORPGs into the game. So the first one they're going to be adding are raids. Yes, raids are coming to the game. They require six people in the party. So the party system is going to get expanded. They're going to be the hardest content in the game. And raids are going to be something you'll be able to queue for, which I'm really excited about. So being able to queue for not like Destiny, you got to find groups offline stuff. But that's a place where you'll be able to get weapons and weapon skins will be tied to your raids and, you know, other things as they go. So for me, that is really cool that they're going to have something for endgame players, power players, players who are really good. Um, I think eventually you're going to have to have some type of clan system in the in the game, but um, just to organize, you know, separate groups outside of regular matchmaking. With raids, you're going to be adding something called mythic hunts. So mythic hunts are super hard mode of every hunt in the game, and it's going to raise the cap of awakening on your weapons to five. And so basically you're going to get mythic hunts before raids because they want you to be leveled up, I guess, and have your weapons leveled up so that raids eventually is the next progression piece in the game. So mythic hunts are coming. I'm actually excited about that because hunts are some of the favorite things I like to do in the game. And so that's really cool. So two major pieces of content coming for end game players, which is awesome. Then armory levels. So Armory level is going to be like huge for players who want to level new weapons. Me, not so much because I kind of tend to stick to one or two weapons. But once you, every time you level a weapon to 30, your armory level go up. And, and a, as your armory level goes up, your weapons, other weapons get stronger. So it's not just the ones from your class, right? So that's going to be cool. I think that's an awesome, awesome idea. And there's a bunch of other stuff talking about archetype level, miscellaneous group sizes, but they're going to be expanding zones, yes. Frost March, right now, it's tiny. You're going to in a brand new, massive, massive level because mounts are coming to the game. Yes, you heard it right. Mounts are coming to the game. And in order to have mounts, you need to have wide open spaces and bigger spaces. Um, so I can't wait to play a massive Frost March zone running around on my mounts. I think the mounts will have cosmetics for their saddles, stuff like that. Um, so we'll see what mounts are because a lot of newer MMORPGs have taken mounts to the next level, like New World, stuff like that. Um, and like even World of Warcraft with their dragon riding. So it'll be interesting to see what they do there. So please go free, check out their, uh, actual live stream, their fireside chat. It was like two hours long. Go check it out. Get all the specific details that I may, may have glossed over and not talked about here. Once again, I want to thank you so much for hanging out on the channel. Hit that subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll catch you on the next video.